And this is how we're going to use window to create um, a bootable Maverick 10.9.2 USB bootloader, which okay. is the app right here. And just click it, share support. This is install esd.dmg. Okay, so I extract it to, to the uh, desktop already. So you need um, WinZip 7. All right, so open it up. Now, this is the whole thing. Okay, the ESD, the big one. Now, when you expand this three, uh, seven zip, open archive, it will come up to here, to this one, all right? So, inside there, you will see package, and the uh, base. So, the base system is right here. See that? When you expand it, it will come to that. So this package we need. So we copy it and put it outside. We're going to need it later. So it's going to be make a folder called Maverick 1092. So paste. All right. And then this three HFS right here which is from the base system. All right, Let's open archive, see. the size here. So, extract it to here already, so it's there. All right, so we need this one also for the boot disk utility to create the first USB boot disk. So copy that and put it here. This right here, okay, it's a package. We need to extract the uh, machine kernel uh, binary. So, okay, so you open this, you open the archive. All right, and then you copy this payload. Bring it to the Maverick also. So, where is it? Maverick. Okay. So now I'm going to go into my um, and I see this payload here, right? Now what we have to do is to open archive again. Here, machine kernel. So copy this. Okay, you're going to copy it to need machine kernel. So we don't need this payload anymore. So goodbye. Good one. So. So this one right here is a 2 gig. It's perfect for uh, the base, which is 1 gig. So here's what we're going to do. Option, configuration, boot partition size 64, and multi partition. Okay, so we do that. So, format. It. This is the one you want.
So, I have my three HFS we already extracted before. Uh, so, this uh, one gig, that is the OS base. So, this one we're going to use. Alright. Yes. Alright, now it's done. We need to uh, put the machine kernel into this to boot. Okay? So now we just transmat again. Uh, cruise, OS base system. Right click, copy here. And I'm going to look for machine kernel. So, this is my machine kernel that I extracted from Windows, okay? So, everything is in the Windows right now. So, this OS based system is ready to boot, okay?